This empty sound is the essence of our existence, especially when someone is in cardiac arrest. Time will not cease for anyone. If time hasn't stopped in the greatest wars, pandemics, and medical emergencies, what makes you think it'll stop for you? So why don't you save a life in this time? National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute states, cardiac arrest causes about 300,000 to 400,000 deaths in the United States per year. My personal experience with trauma as a certified clinical medical assistant student, EMT student, and an aspiring emergency medicine physician has shown me the importance of knowing how to form car cardiopulmonary resuscitation, which is also known as CPR, on an unresponsive patient. This certification has allowed me to impact many lives, including this past Sunday, I was able to perform CPR on a person. Hence, every person in the state of Tennessee should be required to perform CPR and receive their CPR certification. Now, let's explore why an individual would need to give CPR, the importance of time during CPR, and how easy it is for you to be CPR certified. Primarily, I would like to discuss why an individual would need CPR certification. Abraham Lincoln started the Gettysburg Address off with, four score seven years ago, our fathers fought forth on this continent, a new nation conceived in liberty. Does that sound familiar? Our democratic nation wants because of us citizens and it is our duty to help our nation. This includes helping our community by saving a life. When someone is undergoing cardiac arrest, respiratory arrest, or even lying lifeless, it is obvious that something has malfunctioned within the body. A medical emergency can occur anywhere. It can occur when you're eating, exercising, in a lecture. It can even occur right now, so be prepared. So you may ask, when would you give CPR? In a December 2022 blog, CPR states, if a person isn't breathing or doesn't have a pulse, you need to perform CPR immediately. Make sure you lie the patient in a recovery position and ensure that there's no pulse and that they're not breathing. If the patient starts gasping for breath, you should begin performing CPR immediately, immediately by placing firmly on the chest just like this. Furthermore, I would like to discuss the importance of acting quickly when someone is under cardiac or respiratory arrest. Let's work on the term cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Cardiopulmonary means related to the heart and lungs. Resuscitation means to revive someone from consciousness or apparent death. An online article published in October 2021 by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention explained, during cardiac arrest, the heart cannot pump blood to the rest of the body, including your brain and lungs. Death can happen in minutes. When blood does not reach the brain and lungs, permanent brain damage can occur, and most of the time, even death. Blood must be flowing in your body at all times. CPR mimics how the heart pumps through chest compressions. With these compressions, blood keeps flowing throughout the body. Every second helps. The longer you wait to perform CPR, brain injury becomes prevalent. An article by Very Well Health states, after nine minutes, Brain damage is extremely likely. The chances of surviving cardiac arrest after 10 minutes is very slim. So now do you understand the importance of CPR? Every minute that passes, the chances of survival decrease by 10%. If CPR is not done on time, death can occur, so act now. Simply go to the American Heart Association website and click Find a CPR Course near you. Rutherford County EMS is offering courses where you will learn how to perform CPR and know how to use an AED. You'll soon learn that CPR requires a bit of sweat since you might be performing chest compressions for quite a while before your first responders get there. So time to activate those apps. <laughs> According to Avai, an online article published in March of 2022 states, being trained in CPR provides the knowledge, confidence, and skills needed to remain calm in a medical emergency. Cardiac arrest can happen anywhere, and it is vital for the majority of the people in the room to know how to perform CPR and save someone's life, because first responders may take a while to get there due to traffic conditions and weather conditions. You can save a, love, a baby's life, even your loved one's life. Think of a loved one in your life right now. Wouldn't you want your loved one to be saved? Let us unify in times of, times of despair and save a life. The third step in Maslow's hierarchy of needs is love and belonging. Keep that in mind since everyone has someone that they hold close to their heart. <clears throat> to conclude, now you know the extended benefits on getting CPR certified. Being CPR certified can save a life. 
and it is vital to understand why someone would need CPR, the importance of time, and how easy it is for you to be CPR certified. Thus, every person should attempt to be CPR certified. Upon hearing the benefits, would you be willing to sacrifice two hours of your time to save a life? This life can be your friend, your neighbor, your stranger, or even your professor. There should be no discrimination when it comes to saving one's life. <laughs> Just like Abraham Lincoln once said, and describes the nation conceived in liberty that our fathers brought forth, let us attempt to uni unite and help our community. Do not let this time go by. So make sure to go get your CPR certification. <laughs>